In this part, we are starting with the reproductive structure of the plant and that is the flower. Let us first talk about the various parts of the flower and then we will discuss certain important terms which are associated with the floral structures. Now, when we talk of flower, we see two things, a stalk-like structure and a swollen part. The stalk of the flower is known as pedicel and the swollen part on which the floral parts are arranged, this is known as the thalamus or receptacle. And all the floral whorls, they are arranged on this part. Now, how are they arranged? The outermost whorl is normally green and it is known as calyx. This is the outermost green part and its function is to protect the flower when it is in the form of bud. So, function is protection when the flower is in the form of bud and it is normally green. Small structure, they can be fused or free. We are drawing a free one here because we want, we want to understand all the parts. Individual members are known as sepals. So this is one sepal and all sepals together make the world that is calyx. Then comes the next world, inner two sepals and it is normally made up of brightly colored structures. Individual is known as a petal and the world is called the corolla. Corolla is normally brightly colored and its function is to attract agencies, insects or birds for pollination. Attract agencies for pollination. And that is why these petals are brightly colored. These two worlds, that is calyx and corolla, they are called the non-essential worlds because they do not participate in reproduction. So these two would be termed as non-essential worlds. And the reason? Because they are not participating in reproduction. Now, Inner to the petals would come the third world, that is now the essential. It is the male reproductive part. It is attached here. It has two parts, a thread-like structure, which is called the filament, and a swollen part, which is known as the anther. And these two together would be termed as the stamen. So individual member is called stamen and the world is known as androsium. Androsium is the male reproductive structure or world. So we have talked of the outermost that is calyx, the second one corolla. This is the third one which is the male reproductive part. Now coming to the innermost part. The innermost is in the center of this and it has three parts. There is a swollen basal part which is called the ovary. There is a long slender thread like structure which is called the style and at the tip which is going to receive the pollen grains is known as the stigma. And these three together form a pistil individual but the world is known as gynosium. So this is the innermost and it is the female reproductive structure or world. So these two together are known as the essential worlds. Essential worlds and this flower which is formed it normally a typical flower normally has all these four worlds. The flower is considered as a highly or let us write it here a flower is a highly condensed modified stem 
or highly condensed step. Now, why are we calling it a highly condensed and modified step? And if it is like that, then if this was the stem, stems have nodes and internodes. And if it is a modified world, then at one node, the sepals would have grown. At the second node, the petals would have grown. The third has this androsia here. And the fourth is the innermost, that is the gynosium. And it is highly condensed. So if we take this long structure and press it, compress it, then this stem would become highly compact. From one node, we see the sepals arising. From the second node, we see the petals. Third node, we see androsium. And from the apical uh, point, that is the terminal point, we see the gynosium. And that is why we call the, stem, uh, the flower as a modified stem. It is highly condensed. Instead of a long structure, it is a compact structure. And that is why this thalamus or receptacle has become a little flattened. And all these floral worlds are arranged on this. Arrangement is from outside in, outer is calyx, protective in function, then corolla, attract to, to attract insects. Androsium, male reproductive and gynosium is the female reproductive. If all these four worlds are present, then the flower is termed as complete flower. Complete flower word when we use, that means all four words, all four words are present. And if any one is missing, then that would be called incomplete flower. Where any one word is absent. If the flower is complete, all four are going to be there. Incomplete, anyone can be absent. In some cases, we find that instead of calyx and corolla, instead of these two worlds, there is only one world present. And that is known as perianth. So this is instead of calyx and Corona, there is a different word which is called perianth. And individual members of perianth are known as tepals. Like individual members of calyx were called sepals, here they are called tepals. Now there is a confusion many a times that some people think that it is calyx and corolla which is fused to form perianth. Whereas the situation is there is no calyx, no corolla. Instead of these two, there is this third world. This is another world which is called perianth. So it is instead of these two. It is not formed by the fusion of calyx and corolla. So this is the basic structure of the flower. In the next part, we'll take up certain important terms associated with the flower and we'll also study the symmetry of the flower.